Good morning to you from hot, dusty Everett, Pennsylvania. We got our six inches of base in here. We screeded out our setting bed. And yesterday and today, it's just a matter of, of slicing dice with flagstone pieces. It's like putting a puzzle together, swing in a piece with our excavator, find an angle that I like, cut it in. It's a lot of cust cutting, a lot of dust, and but it, it looks pretty cool. And then when you're done, you have to go along and level everything because they're all different heights and stuff, thickness and stuff. But what do we have here? Brio, hey, don't show them that. It's a secret. This is an entire skid of jelly turtles for DJ and I to eat as we work. You see, that's what Vince from Tati Mountain Mulch told me it is. So, see if he's saying this. What? What? Oh, it's a shield. It's to block all the fiery darts of DJ that he hurls at me with his mouth all day. When he gives me a nasty insult, I'll just, ha, can't touch me. Oh my word, a stainless steel. Brio Zentro insert. Oh, look at that bad boy. It's heavy. Woo -wee. Who sees a lot of fun evenings in this space? I might have to come down here one evening and just crash this place. I am going to cap this ring in that natural stone Black Hills flagstone that we turned into cap. I'm going to cap this thing. And then when I'm done, this insert gets set right in here. This conduit is just for lighting wire because um, I have under cap lights going in here. These things are beautiful. They're designed so that you can build a fire in them. You get the magic of a wood fire without all the nasty smoke. I mean, it does smoke a little bit, but they are pretty impressive. It's all designed so the air pools up from the bottom and the sides. I don't understand it. I just know that it's pretty awesome when you're sitting beside it and you don't have to have smoke in your face all evening. Hey, the most boys seeds are on the tenders. You should buy. Oh my word. There's guys here that are mulching and I've been eyeing their pack of seeds all morning and I would say it's time to move in for the kill. Right about right there, there's a bag of seeds.
is a giant tree. It's a beautiful weeping white pine. We're going to use it for a backdrop against our feature. Just had a whole bunch of these shipped in this spring from uh, Oregon or Washington. I'm not sure. They are beauties. Hey, good afternoon to you from the Tussie job site. We finally got out of all the cutting and the cutting and the cutting and the cutting and the hardscape. And Jason just swept in all our joining material. For joining material, you can do a few different things. There's gator dust, or basically it's a polymeric sand. It's a sand with a glue in it that's water activated. You sweep it out and you wet it down and, it, and the glue gets hard. We tend to stay away from that one because that glue absorbs moisture and it can turn black and gummy and soft and moss can grow on it. So we're using SRW's Wet Lock. Uh, there's also Easy Joint has one. I think Alliance has one called Nitro Sand. They're all the same thing. I, I honestly don't understand the science behind it, but I know it's air activated. It comes in these vacuum, vacuum sealed bags and we sweep it in, wet it down to we wet it down just to wash it in the cracks and then sweep it again and in about 12 24 hours it turns rock hard so that's what we put in here to finish up the joints uh dj and i just put in all the plants uh we have still have a few perennials to go put in we have a monster tree that we put in so if we have a fire feature we have hardscape we have a water feature we have plants come on what else is it dj Lights. Aha! We're gonna light things up around here. We have lights in the water feature. We use amps, brass. We're gonna put up lights on the white pine, of course. We have lights all underneath the cap and the wall. I'd like to maybe add some up lights on these big, beautiful barn boards, beams. I think that would look nice lit up. So stay tuned. Nice, replaceable LED bulb. We really like these lights. And we shall clothe him. He needs hatted. They do get sunstrokes if you don't wear hats on them. And if you live in a super warm climate, you'll need a bigger hat. There we go. Your hat's crooked. DJ, how it is? Okay, that's better. All right, let's get things lit up around here tonight. It's gonna be so lit. summer day getting our grass seed put down this is a hydro mulch got our seed and some mulch uh, wood fibers to help with erosion and it's just a mix that we spray on top usually works pretty well it's been uh, two weeks and three days since we took this backyard from a grassy hill to this beautiful outdoor living space. Thank you for following along. We are releasing new videos every Saturday. And we do all kinds of videos. A lot of them are how-to videos, how to build a patio, how to build a waterfall that looks naturalistic. And some of them are just showcasing uh, backyards that we did. That's more of the feel of this video was. I didn't go into a lot of detail as to how and why we build things the way we do. I just wanted to show you some of the stuff that we create and um, some of the backyards we've had the opportunity to transform. I really like this one. It's very unique. Every ounce of space here is used right. It's a very usable area and uh, I like how the everything interacts so closely. You know, from the fire features, from the grilling areas, 
uh, from the fireplace to the water feature, the walkway. It allows you to interact and enjoy everything in one unique space. So it's been a it's been a fun build. It's been a a hard build. We had uh, tight access and natural stone just takes a long time to work with but the end result is beautiful if you're considering an outdoor a backyard project and you're trying to decide between natural stone and concrete natural stone is only going to go one way and that and that's better and from the day you put in concrete it starts to it starts to degenerate they put in some incredible concrete products but uh, I like that this one is all natural stone I know that what I'm putting in is going to look better 200 years from now than it did right now 200 years is a long time I, I, a lot could happen in that but natural stone it only gets prettier with time all right I'll quit my rambling and we'll go to what you really came for all the b-roll of this project let's cut to the b-roll